Keynote 5 to 2 is a phase three trial that investigated the addition of the immune checkpoint inhibitor pembrolizumab to neoadjuvant chemotherapy and then continued with pembrolizumab or placebo after surgery for another six months in the adjuvant setting. The study was performed in patients with newly diagnosed stage two or stage three triple negative breast cancer, irrespective of whether they're PD1 positive or PD1 negative. The chemotherapy regimen used in the Keynote 5 to 2 trial was an intensive chemotherapy regimen, including 12 weeks of a platinum taxane combination, followed by 12 weeks of AC or EC. Patients were randomized 2 to 1 to pembrolizumab or placebo. The study had a total of 1,174 patients included. The study had two primary endpoints. The first primary endpoint we reported a couple of years ago at ESMO 2019, where we demonstrated a significant and substantial increase in the PATH CR rates from 51.2 to nearly 65%. Uh, we have now at this ESMO reported the long-term follow-up data with the second primary endpoint event-free survival, where we are able to demonstrate, again, a significant and meaningful improvement in event-free survival. The delta is 7.7, hazard ratio at three years is 0.63. This is highly significant. The three-year event-free survival rates are 84.5% in patients who receive pembrolizumab in combination with chemotherapy compared to 76.8% for patients who received chemotherapy and, and placebo. A lot of the events were distant events. And as a result, we also saw a statistical significant improvement in distant free survival with a very similar hazard ratio of 0.61. What was really interesting looking at the data is, is, is to, in a pre-planned analysis, dividing the groups and patients who achieved hepatitis and patients who did not achieve hepatitis. In patients who achieved hepatitis, there was a small additional benefit of immune therapy, increasing event-free survival rates at three years from 92.5 to 94.4 percent. That's a hazard ratio of, of 0.73. But interesting enough, in patients with residual disease at the time of surgery, again, we had a substantially better outcome for patients who received pembrolizumab with a three-year event-free survival rate of 56.8% for patients with chemotherapy and placebo compared to 67.4% for patients who received pembrolizumab in combination with chemotherapy. That's nearly 11% and, and, and is a substantial delta with a hazard ratio of 0.70. At this point in time, overall survival follow-up is too short with only 39 months medium follow-up in the trial, but we see a clear trend in favor of the addition of pembrolism up. And we will provide further follow-up where I'm confident that we will see uh, a significant benefit for overall survival.